Today we're going to be talking about the geological resources of Somalia and this is in partnership with Association of Somali Engineers. We are a UK-based organisation that is a platform for both students and professionals to collaborate, share ideas and to network and we aim to bolster levels of engineering awareness and employability within the community and to promote and develop engineering services and best practice for sustainable development. And today our speaker, Dr. Osman Salat Hirsi, um, for those of you that don't know, uh, he initially got his first geology degree from the Somali National University. After that, he had a scholarship to study at Florence University in Italy, where he gained his PhD. After a while, he went to Carlton University in Canada, where he got an, a second degree in side, sedimentology and sedimentary basin analysis. Now he works at the University of Regina and he has over 200 papers in peer-reviewed journals, book chapters, conference abstracts, open file reports, consultancy reports and, and institutional publications. Dr. Hirsi, in his current role alongside his university is a consultant uh, for the petroleum industry in which he has worked with the Putland State of Somalia and the Federal Government of Somalia, in which he is still adamant to continue. Today's lecture will be held in, in English. However, we do hope that our future events we're able to uh, speak in Somali. So thank you, Dr. Osman, you can start. geological resources of Somalia, availability and hindrance. خيرات كجيولوجية سوماليا كذي تان كودا وحي وحي كجلا إيوه وحا هرتاقن إنانو كفايدي سنو إيه بريف أوتلاين في برستيشن كيغو وحاوة يقيب تورا وحان سوديا إن آن وحون يد إذن كفاهم سيو the geology in Somalia the geology in general so brief introduction on the geology of Somalia uh, which is roughly divided into two parts the, the Cambrian basement rocks, your sedimentary rocks. Again, we are jargon, the Cambrian Kuwa, the Hunt Kuo Gua Wain, or Wood Ahan Wuin, or Lira Hadom Atarana, Igneous Kim Tamorfic and Basement Rocks, Kalispo the Yahoo. Eo Kuakas Raya, Yugo sedimentary cover car, Labalas Kabo, Barlog, Yamako Arkadona, Kabo House, Yemel Kleyalan, Yuna, I Kali him. مرحبا بعد ما نحن نقول بياض الجولش كارف سورسز وحن كهل دوران بياها معدن تي يدقها في هذا نوله هي بترول كبعدنا وحن تابنا يا هلا ملوى إسلايد هندرنس وححور تاجن إن متقن خيرات كأنه أنه لصبحنا. so basically the this is the map of Somalia if you look this is the map of Somalia and if you look the map by itself you'll see different colors. And these different colors represent different types of rocks. Then the question is what kind of rocks or what type of rocks are in Somalia? And where do they occur? With their distribution, where are they? So in a very general sense, if you look again the map, we have another area which is very colorful and a southern area which is also colorful as well. So these two, the rest they are kind of, kind of a very large areas covered more or less the same, same color. So these two regions, so there are these two regions, the Precambrian basement rocks. Well, all that region, Gulls Range, or this very colorful one, Eo Bur Range, Bur Hakawa, yeah, you can uh, like in not only Burhak area, from Dinsor all the way to Bur region, areas don't have but Bur region uh, geologically and So these two regions, they contain the Precambrian basement rocks, the oldest rocks in Somalia. When geologists talk about the age, we, have, we talk about millions of years and even billions of years. Uh, geologically speaking, the, the world was formed or created about 4.6 billion years ago, roughly 4.6 billion years. So we're talking about millions and, and billions of years. But this age is divided into two major parts. The older one, which is the 
Precambrian, uh, this one, Precambrian zone. So it's up to anything older than 540 million years. Anything less than that one, younger than that one, is the uh, Phanerozoic, uh, uh, Phanerozoic uh, era or Phanerozoic time. Or what we call it, Zoic, Mesozoic, or Hiligi, Noluhu, or Aduncan, Trana Ilaikusami, Behe Nolaha, Phanerozoic, visible. Uh, uh, life and fossils fossils four hundred fifty million fossils ko uh, and uh, so that's simply the, the geological kind of understanding uh, age wise uh, we are talking about millions of years so the oldest rocks in Somalia they occur in the Golis range and in the Bur range the rest of the country is covered by sedimentary rocks younger rocks that are called Phanerozoic rocks, those that contain fossils and different types of, uh, of organism, uh, remains of organisms. So that, that's the, the, the two major types of rocks that we have. But of course, each one has its own subdivisions. And we'll see the, these subdivisions and where they occur, starting from the northern part of the country. When I say northern Somalia, I intend from Nual upwards, Nual region, and, and to the north. So that includes the, uh, the, the, the what's called the Bari region, Nugal region, Senag, Sol, uh, Oroikalbed, uh, Audal, that regions all together. Uh, the northern Somalia. So again, this is kind of enlarged from that map. So we see this kind of very colorful zone. That's where the basement rocks or the Precambrian rocks occur. So what kind of rocks exist? So here again is a map showing uh, the tills with, with different types of uh, patterns. So these different patterns, they represent different types of, of rocks. And for instance, here we have the old rocks in another part, basement rocks. You call the old basement complex, granitic and uh, nice, gabile basamite, and so on. So, so there are this this kind of squiggly line. Uh, can you please uh, mute yourself. So, so these are the the, the these squiggly lines are the old rocks that occur. So if, if you look here, these are all the old rocks that are called the. Uh, the, the granitic, nice, and gibilip samite, and so on and so forth. Also, in, they occur in Burma, Ubali, uh, Harira, so so they occur all this, all this. Uh, please, uh, we appreciate if you mute yourself. I can't seem to meet that person. Okay, um, so uh, as I said, maybe you, 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 that person missed the introduction. I am mixing Somali and English so that each person will, will get some sort of information from what I'm saying. So if you are good in English and put in Somali, take the English part. And also you can read the slides if you, if you wish. So you can get that information. And later on, you can ask me any questions that need further uh, clarification, inshallah. So, Simply stop the disturbance, please. So, so these are the oldest rocks, the, and they include the meta granite, granite rocks that have been metamorphosed, meta sandstones, meta shales, meta basalts, and meta carbonates. So, simply, these are different types of rocks that have been metamorphosed, changed. These are the terminologies that have been applied into. So these, uh, all these rocks are different types of, uh, of older rocks or original rocks that have been metamorphosed. So meta, 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 um, uh, let me. So, so these are the, uh, the different types, the oldest type of rocks that are present there. Here, the younger ones that have intruded or came later include mafic intrusions. So these kind of uh, dots, you can look here, for instance, here, the granite of Sheikh, 
uh, that's present there. Here is the, the city of Al Sheikh. So these are present in here. We have also intermediate intrusive rocks, the cyanide, uh, that are present in certain zones. Maybe you can see the patterns. And also we have the different types of younger grants. And these grants, for instance, they they occur here in, in the uh, in, in the region south of, of Maid. This is the island of Maid. So it, it is this area and also other kinds of granite zones are, are here as well. Here, this kind of a granite, uh, granites here as well. So there are different locations in which these granites uh, occur. The farthest one, most eastern one, is a, it's a small outcrop of a granite at Ras Antara, which is about 40, 50 kilometers east of, of Bosaso between Kantala. There's another good one, Las Par, uh, south of uh, Elayo in that region, where Andalan, that area. So there's that, these kind of granite rocks do exist as well. And the youngest ones in the basement rocks are the meta sediments of what's called Indaat series. That's the, the name has been given, Indaat series. So it's this kind of a pattern. If you look at these kind of uh, uh, vertical uh, dashed lines, so it, this is the Indaat series. And it occurs in here in the Majihan area, last, uh, south of, uh, of Elayo. Here's the last quarter, if you look at it. And then here, uh, South of Maid uh, and his that area, it, they are they occur there. Yeah. So these are the youngest basement rocks that are present there in the in the north. I will talk later on the different types of minerals that may occur within these uh, different types of rocks. But now I'm simply giving you the general geology of the of the region. So here again uh, a slide which I have taken from uh, Majihan area. So here we have Indad meta sediments, which is the, this one. And these white ones are veins, or what's called, uh, what's called the quartz veins that occur within these meta sediments. And actually it's these quartz veins that contain the, uh, the tin mineral that is quite well known to occur in this uh, region. We'll see that uh, later. So this is again the island of Maid. And the rocks that are exposed are meta sediments, are beta grantes, meta uh, metamorphosed igneous rocks, and sedimentary rocks mix it. So they called mite uh, green stones. So it's quite very beautiful, colorful, very nice, beautiful place indeed. And it may contain. It needs more of a, a research and looking into the details. Any kind of minerals that may contain in these uh, green stones, and not only on the island, but also similar rocks occur on the on the mainland as well. So the other region is the Bur region, the Bur Hakawa region. So in this region, this is the Bur Hakawa, Hakawa Bernanche, that's why it, it is there. So it contains different types of uh, igneous metamorphic rocks that have been uh, the oldest rocks that are present in the region, meta sediments and, and, and meta granite and so on and so forth. So for Somalia, Bur region, or you could make a Bur region and have away from the insult here. You look for the insult is here. Yar Brau is here. Bur Hakawa, Baidawa is a bit up. Once you go what's called the Mayan Fulka, then you are on the sedimentary side. And just below the Mayan Fulka, towards the Mogadishu road, then you are on the on the basement rocks. So these are the old rocks. So they came in uh, uh, uplifted and brought there. So some kind of uh, uh, details of the geology of the Bur region. This is a map from Fritz Zone 1993. And there are different patterns, again, as you can see. And the oldest rocks are the what's called all and toilet sequence. These kind of squiggly lines are the oldest ones, as well as these uh, metamorphic rocks called dinosaur sequence. So these are the two types of rocks that are oldest. Actually, the oldest one is the all and toilet followed by the dinosaur sequence. So these are the, the major uh, uh, types of, of uh, metamorphic rocks that are present in this region. There are other relatively minor, but large enough if you look at the, the scale, uh, granites and, uh, and, and pluton rocks. So here we have the felsic plutons, that's again yeah, granite rocks. Granite, quite very common. See granite here, all these are quite uh, relatively uh, zones of, uh, of, uh, of uh, granite rocks. But there are also uh, some mafic rocks like a gabbro uh, that's present here. So this is kind of a gabbro that's here. Also another granite, granite. So another uh, gabbro 
So these are mafic intrusions that are present there. So we do have these younger intrusions that are coming uh, intruding into the basement rocks. And what's left is this kind of uh, blocks. These are the sedimentary rocks, young rocks that are covering the basement rocks. So this is that region where we have the oldest basement in the southern part of Somalia. So these, these are the two we have said the, that they contain the oldest rocks that are present there. And again, I will talk the mineral content of these rocks uh, later on. Now the sediment rocks. So the region outside of these two areas are mainly covered by sedimented rocks. So as you can see, maybe over 80, 85% of Somali territory is covered by sediment rocks. So that by, by large, it's the sediment rocks that are uh, forming Somalia. So they are much younger and they lie on top of the basement rocks. These Precambrian old rocks, they lie on top of that one. Simply think about if you drill a well and you see different layers and these layers lie on top of all the rocks at the, at the bottom. So the old rocks at the bottom are the basement rocks or those Precambrian rocks. And those layered ones above are the sedimentary rocks. And each type of rock, whether it's sedimentary or or metamorphic or igneous, they contain their own natural resources. And we'll see the different types of natural resources that are associated with these different types of, of, uh, of rocks. The sedimentary rocks, they form in sedimentary basins, what's called. Sedimentary basins go have very large areas that can accumulate sediments. So they piles of sediments, for instance, rivers are bringing sediments into the ocean or into the lake. And then they will be dumped into that area. And that continues into thousands and, and millions of years. And therefore, it's kind of a building, a sequence of sediments that are later on squeezed and uh, compacted, cemented, a process called lithification. They have been lithified so that they change into a sedimented rock. So, هالكاسبي different environments can have different types of sediments and sediment rocks. So taking you back uh, before the disintegration of Somalia, of, 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 of the continents. In the old age, Paleozoic era, that is much long time ago, Somalia was part of what's called the Gondwana uh, supercontinent. So imagine here, you can see the maps, here's South Africa, uh, South, uh, uh, South America, here's Africa, Arabia, and here's Australia, Antarctica, India is here, Madagascar, this M is Madagascar, Iran, Tibet, and so, so all of that was forming one single continent together in the old days, way uh, about uh, for starting from 400 million years uh, until later in, uh, in, 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 in the Triassic time, about 200 million years. So it, it came together as, as one block. But then later on, it started to disintegrate in a Kalabahan or Africa, South America, there's some sort of a, a sub-discipline within the geology called the plate tectonics. So that plate tectonics worked out and disintegrated the, uh, the, uh, the Gondwana land. And now you see India, uh, which is farther north of, of us, was attached into the eastern part of Somalia. And in between us, we have Madagascar. That was uh, this kind of a block that was uh, kind of uh, fitting in, in between. And so, but later on, it started to disintegrate, and that disintegration produced basins, kind of uh, deep basins. India, Africa, Madagascar, 
who has some space to check him away or hundreds of kilometers ever to run a wider or do hosa or good and over his basins can come out here. Mark Alcas will have a sediment ski and then that sediment ski mark he will come back to the sediment rocks. So the oldest sediment rocks in Somalia are those that were formed during the disintegration of Gondwana. And here is the oldest basins in Somalia. See, these are the sediment basins and fracture, uh, fractures and uh, what's called the carbon basin. Yeah, okay, great, thank you. Uh, mute them and then unmute me. <laughs> okay, so we have these different types of, of, of basins. You see, these are called the Karu basins. That's the first initiation of the disintegration of, of India from Africa. And so India is here, see, Indo-Pakistan, Bombay here, and Madagascar is down here. As you can see, Madagascar, and here's Somalia. So we have these kind of rifts that are associated into in, 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 into the southern part in north of Somalia. Okay. So the here in summarizing the tectonic blocks of Somalia, we have faults that separate the different part types of, of, of basins. When we're dividing Somalia into different basins, therefore we look at the blocks that are separated by by faults. So here we have what's called Al Hamur lineament is a huge fault that separates what's called the Muduk Basin from the Northern Basins together here, Borama, Berbera, Almadu, Daror Basins all together in that Northern part. And also including the, the Nugal Basin as well or Nugal Arch here, but there's a basin there as well. So that is the Northern uh, Basins. And here we have a central part of Somalia where we have the Muduk Basin or the central Muduk Basin, also another name called the Somali Embayment. It's the largest one and we'll see uh, the subdetails of it is uh, sedimentary. And then the southern basins include the Mogadishu uh, Basin, here, the Mogadishu Basin. We have the uh, Lugmandera Basin here, and we have the Jubalamu Basin here. So these are the three basins in the south. And you see here the Borhakawa High. This is the basement rocks that have been uplifted and therefore the, the, there are no sediment rocks on top of, 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 of the Borhakawa. So we'll see the geology of these different types of sedimentary basins, starting with the northern part of Somalia, again, Nugal and up. Here we have the Northwest region, the Nugal, Las Kore region, Northeast region, and the Indian Ocean. So there are different types of, uh, of rocks, starting from the Jurassic, they are mainly dominated by carbonates. The oldest rock is called Adigrat sandstone, which is not a carbonate, but it's a sandstone, but it's followed mainly by, by carbonates, the Hamenle or Almero, uh, formations. In the Berbera Basin, we use different uh, terminology other than the Adigrat. There's the Bihin uh, limestone, Raha the shales, Wendrer uh, limestone, and Rani shales, and Gowan uh, limestone. So the, these terms are used, but they are geologically equivalent with the uh, Hamenle and Warandab here, which is more of a, of a, of a shale. But there's an unconformity here. There. I'm not going into the details of what's an unconformity. Anyway, rocks that are missing there. So this is the, the Jurassic. The Cretaceous in the West is dominated by Yosoman sandstone. It's a sandstone, very thick sandstone, about 1,700 uh, meters thick and uh, very good reservoir uh, indeed. And then when we go to the East, here Nugal and Las Corre and the Northeast, it becomes more of a carbonate. So it merges into carbonate rocks. The Tisja formation or is, is, the, is the mainly dominated by carbonates and some shales. And then when we go into the Indian Ocean, it's more shale dominated again, the cotton, jira, the sagale, hordio, and the raspina. So these are mainly dominated by carbonates and shales that are mixed together. So there's this kind of a lateral change from sandstone in the west and merging into carbonate to the east. And this later on we'll see they are good and useful for hydrocarbon uh, reservoirs as well as hydrocarbon source rocks. We'll see later. And then the younger ones, Eocene and Paleocene, we have the carbonates of the Aurado formation, and then uh, Taleh formation, which is, is anhydrite and gypsum, and then followed by Karkar carbonates. Later on, after this Karkar, we have the disintegration of 
Arabia uh, uh, from Africa. So as I showed you in the past that Arabia and, and Africa were attached together. And at that, during that time, the Red Sea and Gulf Island did not exist. We were only one land together. But starting from the Oligocene time or late Eocene time, uh, about 35 million years, that started to disintegrate. And uh, in the Oligocene time, Miocene time, younger times, it started to move and, and open the Red Sea and Gulf Island. And eventually, Arabia is moving farther north. And because of that movement, it hit the uh, Eurasia continent, what's called. And that's why we have lots of earthquakes taking place in Turkey, uh, the Zagros Mountains of Iraq, and in Iran. That region is highly uh, tectonically active. And whenever there's the Arabia pushes, and then some sort of uh, tectonics happens, happens there and, and movements. Yeah, so that's because of the opening of the Red Sea and the Gulf Islam, which is moving further north. And here in the central Somalia is the uh, the Muduk Basin or, or the Somali embayment. Still, we have the Adigra sandstone is there at the bottom. That's the oldest sedimentary rock in, the, in, in this region. And then followed by the carbonates of uh, Hamenle, shales of Orandab, the uh, Dare, carbonates, and then main gypsum formation. There's a gypsum uh, very thick and hydrite there, Mustahil formation in the uh, in, in inland and here on the coastal zone, Mustahil, Fair Fair, Beladwain, Yasaman. So these are uh, Yasaman is a sandstone again, very similar to the Yasaman in, 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 in the northwest. And so the, the name is coming from uh, a village Yasaman in, in Hiran. That's where it's, it started for the first time. Uh, maybe these names just take us as names for the now and how they come and why, uh, that's another issue. So this is well exposed in, in the Hiran uh, zone. This is the Shabella River. And here we have uh, the mountains of Hiran that expose the Cretaceous rocks. But in Galgudud and Mudug, uh, no mountains are there and therefore everything is sealed under the, the surface. So the uh, southern Somalia which is this region. We have the inland. Again, we have the Karu, which is, remember, the opening of the Karu Basin. The oldest sedimentary rocks are the Karu, maybe uh, Triassic in age. Uh, but then this followed by the uh, shales of uh, Mareg and uh, then carbons of Hamen Lake and so on and so forth. So it is more or less the same kind of uh, sequence in, in, the, in the central uh, basin, more or less. So these are also well exposed in uh, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous outcrops in Bay region, Bakol and Gedo. So these kind of hills, they are exposing these kind of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of rocks. The exposed rocks, for instance, those exposed in Hiran that are Cretaceous in age, and those Jurassic and Cretaceous that are exposed in Bay and Bakol uh, and, and Gedo. Uh, from one side, there's a, a bit of a, uh, unfortunate, I would say that, any hydrocarbon resources that were present in these exposed rocks have flown away. But in the deeper part where they still preserved, there could be some sort of a, of a potential. Maybe we'll, we'll talk that later. 